Magnetic Carmelo Peralta, I'm from Bolivia, um, I'm a forest engineer. Uh, also, I study a master and a PhD in environmental science in Mexico. Uh, and before we came to, uh, to France, I, uh, I worked more or less six years as a researcher uh, in a center of research uh, for the peace and indigenous people in Bolivia in different regions that I didn't present. Um, this presentation that I call the sustainable management of the uh, traffic system in territories and the uh, adverse conflict of environmental uh, degradation and, and climate change. In Bolivia, uh, we developed uh, some uh, research. Uh, I will try to, uh, to summarize some books in one slide. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a uh, uh, but the information, of course, I will I will leave the presentation, the links if you are interested. Also, I am here in Toulouse. I I will be for a long time here, so <laughs> we can just one. And thank you very much for for uh, the seminar, for the for your times. Um, well, so uh, Bolivia is in the South America. It has more more than one million of the square kilometers more than 12 million inhabitants. And, um, and well, um, I will uh, contextualize what is happening in, in Bolivia right now with the process of production of production models. And after that, I will uh, talk about some alterna alternatives, uh, taking in account the agroecology. And I will show, uh, I will show the, some cases for example, the agroforestry system, livestock, and sustainable forest management, and resiliency capacity to, uh, to show some results of the, our research. Um, well, so uh, it's very important to know that in, uh, in Bolivia, uh, there are two uh, models of production that can be, can be changed, can be dynamic. Uh, and depend on the grade of mercantilization or the agriculture. So on one hand, we have the, the agro-industry uh, that uh, produce uh, food for the exportation, uh, and the family agriculture the produce food uh, for the food security of the country. Uh, so it, it is a big difference uh, uh, in the country in, in these two models. For example, you can see here, that the 96% of the, the product existing are linked to the agriculture family, family agriculture. And uh, 4% uh, related to the agriculture. But uh, it was a big information that 10 years ago, so it can be changed right now. Maybe the agriculture is, is bigger than the in percentage. But uh, in the country, there are more or less 800,000 uh, priority systems. Uh, and it represents more or less uh, 15, uh, 15% of the grass domestic uh, product in, of the country. And it is more or less 1 billion of euro. So that is the, the economy of, the, of these two kinds of agriculture. Uh, I don't know. Well, that is a map that you can see here the communities and the main uh, priority system in the country. Uh, overall, in the, in the valley, uh, it has more than 50% of the, of the priority system in the country, small priority system. But in the tropical plain here, uh, we have the, the, the bigger priority system. Uh, and well, in this map, you can see here the, the, uh, the altiplano. Uh, here the valley, uh, the Amazon, the tropical plain, also the the Chaco region. So it's very uh, the, the the country changed uh, a lot uh, inside. And it, it is a summary of the priority system by uh, the region. So you can see here how many priority systems are. And here uh, we have a study this kind of priority system up to 500 hectares, for example. So. The agriculture, the familiar agriculture. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a typical, a typical uh, product system that we uh, normally study them. 
Eh, and it is, it is, for example, the Inca Recological Paraiso Escondido in Santa Cruz, where the, um, the agro industry is uh, uh, produce uh, a lot of uh, food. Uh, this kind of system, uh, or we can call proud the system. The, in Bolivia, we call proud the system, but of course, there is a conceptualization, and also we relate to our ecosystem. But this kind of product system, uh, they are, uh, it's very diversified. Right? You can see here different subsystems, for example, uh, uh, like fights are uh, product system with different species, but also other subsystems, with, uh, for example, the life scoop uh, or the, or the or forest. So, this kind of uh, product system, uh, for example, it has almost 100 hectares. Uh, are very important to um, are very important to uh, evaluate the sustainability, the ecological process, and to get recommendation for the producer uh, for this kind of production. So, but we have a, a we have a, a big problem that every year in Bolivia, uh, you can see this map in in yellow. Uh, uh, there are areas uh, vulnerable areas every year. More or less between three million of hectares, uh, yeah. five million average uh, uh, are lost in the country. And the process of deforestation also, more or less three, in average, uh, 300,000 uh, hectares are lost every year in the country. Also. So, do you see this map? All the wooded areas and the deforestation areas, there are three scenarios. For the for 2000 uh, feet. So uh, the configuration right now uh, appears to be this this, uh, this scenario that represent will represent in 2000 feet more or less 25 million of the carriers that we will lose for the forestation. But, but the, the problem is not only the, the loss of biodiversity, but also of the forest, but also uh, the people who work with this kind of agriculture lost their uh, property system because they. they uh, anthropic uh, phenomena. And this map, I want to show all the, the bullet areas in the last years. Overall, in 2019, uh, we lost more than 6 million of areas. 31% of course, it, uh, located in, in this area, between the Amazon and the tropical plain. So it was a uh, it was a, a, a the year where uh, the country lost uh, in all of its, its history uh, more hectares than, than before. So um, the last year, uh, I think that it was more than three million. But in 2018 was the, the worst uh, year. And so there are drivers of the of the forestation, of degradation, environmental degradation. And you can see here, for example, uh, the cafe, the logging, cocoa crop start to, to increase. Illegal and legal mining, uh, of course, for fires, uh, that is happening in this area, no? Overall in this area, and expanding to, to the Amazon. So in the last year, as I said, uh, we lost, uh, in fact, more than uh, two, Two hundred thousand hectares of uh, forest uh, land in two thousand twenty-three. And of course, it's, it's a um, anthropic phenomenon that causes change, local change, climate change. Uh, and we know many years ago that uh, if we lost forest, if we passed forest pasture for for this kind of activity. Uh, of course, the evapotranspiration, the temperature, the precipitation will change. In. And that is happening right now. And this map shows, for example, the uh, prediction of, of the scenario for 2100. So the scenarios of, of in case of temperatures uh, uh, will affect uh, the Amazon and the uh, Altiplano Valleys. <laughs> and the precipitation, the worst, the worst scenario, uh, also will uh, affect uh, overall in the valleys and part of the planet. So it's happening right now. It's very clear that we are living there, uh, that kind of phenomena. And 
Of course, we some years ago uh, I, we start to discuss what can we do uh, about the problem that this happened many years ago. So we said, how can we improve, for example, uh, make a transition of a related area to an analog quality system or other kind of uh, system? How can the agency line stuff that tells the more areas that burn in the country, in the park? Uh, how can we pass to a semi intensive like farming with practice with uh, other conditions to, to improve the management, uh, reducing the, the environmental impact? And also uh, related to forest, uh, seed also, uh, but not only in the timber exploitation, but also uh, the extraction and management of non timber forest crops, for example, uh, the, the Amazon. There are many uh, forests that can be. Uh, uh, back in a sustainable way. So for that, we um, well, we study we study in some region with like the Amazon, uh, uh, some the Amazon tropical plain, Chaco Valley, and uh, Altiplan. Uh, and, and that we take in account uh, there is uh, the focus of uh, the theory of this of system. Uh, you can see here it's a it's a basic representation of a system that is a unique portion of reality. As you see the, the the figure before the of the system in the Santa Cruz, it's very complex to to measure every scene. No? So it's, it's very complex. So uh, we we start to to study this kind of probability uh, system in this case taking account the, the theory. Uh, and also the paradigm of sustainability or the principle of ecology, resilience, uh, uh, to have to have uh, uh, data to discuss and to propose the change of uh, this kind of uh, product system. So in sum up, the, uh, for example, we, we studied in the south of the Amazon, so a uh, system in some communities. And this small uh, square, uh, different colors, are uh, agroforestry systems that were implemented uh, before uh, before the 2000, the year of 2000. And we, for example, evaluate the sustainability and we develop an index. And you can see here the level, uh, medium, and height of different, uh, each, fo uh, each point are uh, different uh, agroforestry systems. In different municipalities and different territories. So it is an example how we we study it. Uh, uh, we apply the, the, the theory and the methodology. And this book uh, that we published uh, in college in 2020, uh, we characterized uh, more than 200 uh, uh, agroforestry system and uh, located uh, overall in the south. You are right in uh, this region because uh, the, the, um, the economic condition here, under a forest system, represents the first or the second option of uh, income for the family. And here, uh, this uh, forest system uh, are the third or uh, it, it's, a, it's an option, but not the main, the main option. So, for this reason, we are right here, the forest system. And it is a summary of, of the, some indicators related to the different dimensions of sustainability. For example, you can see here some indicators of uh, uh, amount of carbon storage in, in a forest system after a process of transition of the Varete area to a forest system in, in average 10 years. So you can see here, for example, after some years, uh, another forest system can storage. Uh, more than uh, 12 uh, tons of carbon per year. And so on, also the, the biodiversity has started to, to increase. Uh, in the social aspect, uh, it represents the, the third and the second option, more than 43%. And so on, we continue in the economic dimension, and we can, we can relate that with uh, uh, ecosystem services also, no? the regulation, the, the, the basic supply, uh, cultural and also the component of well-being. So uh, the kind of information we start to um, to present, to discuss with the producer, with 
different stakeholders implicated in, 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 in this kind of process of implementation and consolidation of this kind of, of system. Um, and also with, compl uh, with complementation, we have already specifically, uh, we published that in 2022. Uh, we start to evaluate uh, the, the cocoa, the main uh, genotypic of cocoa, the more productive. So we evaluate uh, um, 90 genotypes in cocoa of fo native forests and cocoa uh, in our forest system. And we uh, distinguish two, two big groups that can be, uh, in, can be uh, the best. Uh, genotype in terms of production. Of production. Uh, we were like that, and um, uh, right now the commission, the, the producer are starting to implement other kind of agroforestry system with this uh, genetic material. And of course, uh, it will uh, pass some years to, to have uh, other resources about productivity. So it's a complementation for the for the, the first uh, research that we show. And so and to change a, a little bit, we, we are going. To, we will go to the south of the country, and this is the, the Chaco region. Also, here the deforestation process, the degradation, environmental degradation for the fire is extensive overall for uh, for the livestock. So we start to see what, what can we do. Like I said before, and we have rate with uh, different indicators. For example, you can see here. Uh, what, is the, what, what is the difference between uh, what the difference between this intensive life to uh, farming between the semi intensive life to farming that consists of, there is a difference of management right? um, so under indicator for example we, we calculate that the emission of methane of this kind of uh, livestock is higher, 50% higher than this one. And also the uh, amount of total carbon stored in the, in the, in the, in the vegetation uh, is higher in the uh, semi-intensive. The regener natural regeneration of, the, of this kind of vegetation is high in terms of, uh, it was a, an indicator that uh, for us was uh, very, that was a, a, a surprise because to, to produce one animal of this in, in this region under this uh, productive uh, management of, uh, of livestock, the production need 14 hectares to produce like this. And the other one, this one, only needs less than one hectare under that condition. So the difference is they are, are very high also in terms of uh, income for the for the families and, and the social aspect also. Uh, so um, after that, uh, also we uh, we try to 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 analyze what is happening in the Amazon uh, uh, related to the management of forests. Of course, the deforestation increase, increase, but uh, there is there is a, another option of produce. So we we published uh, these two books. The first one is related to the how can we uh, uh, pay a home the forest in the activities, the economic activities. For example, in this in this uh, paper, we show that forty five percent of the uh, income for the family in, in the Amazon. Is related to uh, non timber forest products, fruits of the forest. But in the other, in the other hand, in this other paper, we show that the politics, the program, national program project in different levels are related to the agriculture, related to the livestock, related to, to other kind of activity that doesn't uh, show the reality that is happening in, uh, in the Amazon. So if there is a contrast. So, for, so we show here that the, the uh, and we recommend that the political of the government in different level must change because uh, of course, of course, uh, if uh, the Amazon to preserve the Amazon, we need uh, with, uh, work with forests, 
while we are working with the live streaming, while we are working with the, uh, I don't know, core production and the mechanized agriculture where, where the, the, the soil, the Amazon is not for that. So the, uh, there is a, a interesting discussion there right now about this topic. And it also it's a, it's a fight between the, the actors there. So, so we are in that reality right now. Um, oh, um, to complement, we, uh, before we evaluate the resilience capacity of, uh, of this kind of uh, priority system that I saw. So we, uh, we develop an uh, index of uh, resilience for this kind of uh, we more than 32 priority system and taking in account the capacities of resilience. So we show here that uh, after uh, unshot, like a draw, like a flute, uh, that the, this kind of priority system uh, has been some years before, in 2017, uh, we evaluate that the, this, this, uh, uh, basically this kind of priority system without unpracticed, with the innovation, with the uh, implication of the producer to change the situation. So uh, it's very difficult to, to recover the resilience in the, in the future. So, so we need to evaluate what's up, what, what happened right now. You know? uh, 2000, maybe in 2024, what is happening with this kind of priority system? Um, and well, so um, we uh, this under that indicator. So I will I will leave the, the link here in this uh, document summary of this uh, of this uh, publication. So you can maybe read. I will let the presentation. Um, And finally, uh, uh, well, so all this information we uh, present with the stakeholders, the decision makers, and the conference, and with the academy, uh, uh, the, the last book, when well, yeah, I was in front, the, the, the book of Cacao, you presented online, because then I, I was here in France uh, the last year. But uh, the discussion continues there. Um, my egg college uh, continues to work in this kind of uh, uh, research. And uh, the final comment is related to what, what I see there, with what, what happened, what's happening there. No? So for example, uh, all, of, of, all of the this research helped us uh, to give recommendation to the different stakeholders, producer or producer, uh, and implement and uh, make the consolidation of this kind of uh, system. But also we identify the contribution of, of an ecological uh, approach to improve the sustainability of this kind of uh, priority system. No? We show also the, the uh, this kind of family agriculture help to uh, Creates employment for, for people, uh, help to the food security of the families, and uh, but the limitation is the high cost of implementation, for example, of some innovation to, to produce a, 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 a little bit, and uh, the lack of political will also is, is not easy no? uh, to, to change the political to, to have this kind of uh, 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 model of production in the country. So that is my impression that that's how I, I, I did work in some of the last uh, seven, seven years. Um, in general, I wanted to, to show, to share with you. And of course, there is a, each publication has the methodology. Uh, and you can, uh, of course, you can uh, on your interest in the, the documents and, um, and thank you very much for your attention.